All right, so I'm gonna re-record this intro, ready? All right, here we go. All right, so there's a brand new 2.3 patch coming out right now, and this patch is really, really exciting. There are a bunch of new things happening. New hangouts with Beidou, what's up, girl? <laughs> uh, two new, we have two new characters coming in with a four-star fight with Ito and Goro, and of course, there is a secret change, which is no one saw coming. It's insane, and I am blown away by this. It is a massive change to the pacing of Genshin and gives players a very, very, very good, exciting thing during the filler patches. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, guys, so we're gonna go over the 2.2 live stream. Uh, wait, wait, 2.3. <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> and uh, we have, here are the codes for 2.3, so if you wanted to make sure, make sure you redeem these within the next 24 hours. Otherwise, you ain't getting jack. Uh, so uh, they actually go away very quickly, so don't miss out on the codes. All right, so first off, we got our boy Ito, who looks really spicy. This man is gonna be a main DPS or primary DPS character that's gonna be on field, swinging out kind of like Noelle does with her ultimate. He's an absolute chad. What a Giga Chad legend. Uh, my reaction to this was he was legendary. Um, he's When he pops his ultimate, it's going to have a Noel style ultimate where you transfer your ult, your overall damage into Geo, do a big swing thing. His elemental skill is going to be very similar to Ganyu's elemental skill where you throw out a Doggo instead of a, a flower petal and uh, it just sits there and then it will explode at the end. Uh, I might taunt, it might not taunt, but it, I didn't really see too many differences there. Overall, Ito looks like an absolute legend for his overall normal attacks and everything. He's going to have a defensive capability where you're, whenever you switch over to um, your ultimate, you reduce your resistances on your ultimate, but then you also lose out on, uh, you get a boost from your defense in some way. So he's going to be a defense main oriented character. All right, next up we have Goru, who is looking like he's going to be a support type character, very similar to the way Sarah is to Raiden Shogun. Goro will be to Ito. He is a bow character that's going to be kind of a, um, a geo and defense support character based upon the amount of geo characters you have on your team. With one character on your team that's geo, it's going to be a interruption resistance. Number two characters, I think it's like a defense boost or something like that. And then number the three characters, I believe it's a full geo damage boost. Because you get all of those things when you're boost, um, using Goro, he's going to be a very good synergy partner with Albedo, potentially really good synergy partner with Goru. It really just depends on what we're going to see going forward. All right, and also, here's my reaction to uh, me freaking out that Eula is going to be on a brand new system for uh, how we're going to do rerun banners. As you can see, I'm freaking out, and uh, it's very cool. So essentially what happens is we're going to see a new system with rerun banners where you have two characters simultaneously potentially three going forward in the future where we're going to have multiple rerun characters so we're going to have albedo at the same time as eula and then the second phase of this is going to be ito and goru so looks like there's going to be a giant new system around these banners it's very very sick and i'm sparing you my overall uh, reaction because it's extremely loud oh the last thing i want to mention about this thing is that these two banners share pity. It is super hype that these banners share pity. It's insane. We'll know more about details when we get the patch notes. I'll go over them in a patch notes video as well. I'm excited, this is Pog. There's of course a new story quest going on with Ito and a brand new artifact set. So this artifact set is gonna be, uh, there's two artifact sets. The first one is gonna be a defense oriented artifact set. Very good for characters like Noel, Albedo and Ito. So all three of the defense oriented characters in the game. Um, I don't, it's probably not gonna be a Virgin Yang if you're wondering. Uh, it's the two set piece bonus is gonna increase defense by 30%. This is most likely to be good for uh, Goru too. We'll have to see how scaling works. Um, the four set piece bonus, when a character equipped with this artifact set obtains the curiosity, uh, curiosity, sorry, the curiosity effect following the following conditions. When on the field, the characters gains one stack after hitting an opponent with the Geo attack, triggering a maximum of once every 0.3 seconds. When off field, the character gains one stack every three seconds. Curiosity can stack up to four times and each proccing 6% defense and 6% Geo attack, making so that you get up to 24% extra defense as well as 24% extra Geo damage bonus. So a very, very good thing for both Albedo as well as Ito and finally Noel. 
Uh, when six seconds have passed without getting stacks, one stack is lost, so you lose them slowly over time. Essentially, it's a stat, uh, rank up, um, a rank up mechanic, so you can actually get them. So it's also a very good ability because it can trigger off field for albedo. So you can actually trigger this multiple times while you're off field as well, which is very nice. Right. The second set bonus is gonna be a healing set bonus, most likely for Kokomi. Uh, it's gonna have a two set bonus, it's gonna be a 15% healing bonus. The four set piece bonus is really long. When a character equipping this artifact set heals a character in the party, a sea dried foam will affect every three seconds, accumulating the amount of HP recovered from healing, including healing overflow. At the end of the duration, the sea dried foam, sea dried foam will explode, dealing damage to nearby opponents based on 90% of the accumulated healing. This damage is calculated similarly to reactions to so electrocharge and superconduct, but is not affected by elemental mastery. So your character's level is probably going to affect this as well. Uh, character levels. Oh wait, no, it does say character levels of reaction dens are not. Included in this, sorry. That just says right after. <laughs> uh, only one sea dried foam can be produced every 3.5 seconds. And these sea dried foam can be accumulated up to 30,000 HP, including healing overflow. There is no more than no more than one sea dried foam can be given on any given time, and this effect can be triggered even when the characters uh, who is using this artifact set is not on field. So you can do up to 27,000 damage with this thing um, every three seconds. So that's pretty good. 27,000 damage from overflow healing. Uh, that's that's not bad. There's also gonna be a brand new boss coming in that's gonna be for the new Doggo. Uh, this Doggo looks pretty lit. Not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I, I think that this Doggo is gonna be just for Ito as far as like the overall uh, stuff you're gonna get. Sarah might be, uh, Sarah and Raiden Shogun shared the evolution map, so this might also be for Goru, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna guess no. But uh, you know, I don't, I don't know anything. I swear. And um, it, lo it looks like a fun fight. Uh, it's probably not gonna be super difficult. Open world. It's gonna be in Surmi Island. Next up, we have a new event with Albedo as well as um, new Albedo event with Albedo and Eula. This event overall, it looks like it's just gonna get a new four-star weapon, which is going to be the Cinnabar Spindle. Most likely, very similar to the Festering Desire, a very strong weapon overall, from what I can tell. Usually, the Festering Desire is a really good weapon, but I assume this one's gonna be just good for Albedo, but we didn't get any details on what it is here, so I can't share that with you. Just know it's really good for Albedo. We also get Snowman along with it. This is gonna include a lot of new mini games and stuff like that that we can actually get throughout this Albedo event, and we're able to do lots of fun things. In addition, there's gonna be combat-oriented events as well as building snowmen. So that's fun! Yay! The next event we're gonna get is uh, gonna be a uh, a very stealthy event where we actually get a Pokeball at the end of it, and the Pokeball allows you to capture your friends. The stealth event looks pretty cool itself, where you have to like hide from the enemies. But the ability, the new gadget Omni Ubiquity Thet is literally a Pokeball. You go around in the open world and you can catch et anything. It's it's awesome. You put it in your teapot afterward. Big thing is the Energy Amplifier event, which is the heart, one of the harder events in Genshin, is coming back to the game. So that is a very exciting thing. This is a very fun event to do. It also has ve uh, different buffs you can add into your Energy Amplifier. And of course, it's got variable difficulty along with it. So it is one of the more fun combat oriented events in Genshin. We have Misty Dungeon returning with the Realm of Light, which is very cool. This is a, a nice little quickie event, and it, there's actually getting a buff for Electro Charge in this event as well, for getting extra cooldown reduction for your elemental skill and elemental burst. We're also getting the return on the Marvelous Merchandise event, which also seems pretty interesting, because, you know, you get more rewards out of that. So, overall, for this patch, we do have an increase in the amount of events, up to four new events, so that's much better. And there's also an update to the Teapot system with Paimon now in the Teapot. Not really see how that's going to be useful, but it's just cool for P Paimon pictures. But that's going to be it for the uh, the patch. I just condensed it as much as possible. It was really good. I very much enjoyed the live stream. It was a very good live stream overall, and there's a lot of fun things. So let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the patch in the comment section below. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.